You know, we just showed this clip from Avengers Age of Ultron, and uh, that was shot in London. Your stomping grounds. Your, yes. Was it good to be back in London? Is, when you go back there, do you feel like, ah, does your skin breathe differently? Are you happier in London? It, it, it was really great. You know, I left, I left London at the beginning of the, uh, at the end of the 90s, and it was kind of mm, dying, and it really felt like a vibrant, the 90s were nuts yeah. in London, and it, it really felt like a vibrant town again. It was great. However, the most humiliating thing that has ever happened to me happened just before we started uh, started shooting. When you first arrived in London to shoot yeah. Age of Ultron, what what happened? Well, um, I have to. That say was a very badly timed sip. <laughs> well, I want to say that was. Have I've seen some badly timed sips in my day? <laughs> it's, it's 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 it's. And that was just terrible. It was vodka, and it's it's. <laughs> I'm about to tell you the most humiliating thing. That All right, so you're preparing we, yourself. We dim the lights. Just yeah. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so there was a there was a there was a there was a party, a dinner party at Guy Ritchie's house. You know, Guy great. Ritchie. Great. Okay. Guy Ritchie, great director. Okay, great director. And uh, his wife was there. Ron Howard was there. You know, a dear friend of mine. His wife was there. Akiva Goldsman, who wrote a Beautiful Mind, was there. Lizzie Olsen was there. Chris Evans was there. It was just a star-studded uh, evening. Right. And I. I I get very nervous at these things, so I have... You're not, you're not a party guy. You don't like to go out and no, be I, I seen by a lot of people. No, I don't do any of it. And, and so I had elected... I, you know, I'm, I play the vision. What's ironic is I'm kind of myopic. Right. Um, I can't see a thing. So I, I decided, bearing in mind it was Guy Ritchie's party, to not wear my glasses and look young and, frankly, castable. Right, you know, so. right. Sure, you're meeting with a big director. <laughs> that makes sense. Don't course. wear the glasses. Very yeah. important to preface the story with, I am now not wearing glasses. Yeah. And we're in his palatial mansion in the middle of London, and we're sitting down, and he's making small talk, and he says, you know, I have a, uh, I have a pool downstairs. And I have, you, know, you, you have a swimming pool in a London townhouse? Yeah, you know, it's crazy, he says, yeah. He says, yeah, I, I have one in the basement. You should go check it out. Now, behind, right behind me, at the dinner tables here, and right behind me is an elevator. Okay, so I go into the elevator, and I, I press the basement floor, and I, I go down, the doors open, and I'm expecting to hear, like, kids playing in a pool with nannies right. or whatever. Sure. And it's just pitch black, so I, I, I step out into what I think is a corridor, but actually it's the, it's the black cover of a swimming pool. <laughs> and I... The tarp, you're on the yes, tarp. Yes, I'm on the yeah. tarp, and I, now I, I sort of try to walk on water, and then I get, I get wrapped up in the, the, the cover, and now I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> in and the dark? In the, in you're the, in the dark in, and you're in the water? In pitch black. Yes. And I, I'm, I don't know what's going on, I'm swimming, I'm, I'm wearing the watch that my wife bought me for my anniversary and I'm trying to keep it out and, and, and <laughs> yet still live. Yeah. And, and I, I get to the other side and I get, get up and I'm, I, I'm, I'm shivering, and not with cold, but with the certain knowledge that I have to go back upstairs to a dinner party. <laughs> and how, are you completely soaking? You I'm, must be... I'm drenched. I mean, I, I'm, I, it's like I've been swimming. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm, looking, I'm looking for a way out of this, as you would, and I, I'm looking for uh, an open window. I'm thinking maybe I can text my wife and tell her I've left her and then, I don't know, disappear to Mexico or something. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, That's a good plan. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, 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 and then I see a gleaming row of white toweling robes and, 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 uh, and towels. So I put on a toweling robe and I sort of put my hair up like I'm Marilyn Monroe and I press the <laughs> button <laughs> and I go back up to this dinner party and the dinner party opens and I step out and I'm literally, I, I mean, I'm, I'm dripping a puddle on, <laughs> on, on, on the floor and it was the single worst moment of my life and I still, I still wake up going, Oh, God, no, that was a dream. No, it wasn't a dream. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet you looked fantastic. What did they do when the door opens and you stand, you walk out, and suddenly they pointed, you're this... They pointed and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Which was the appropriate I, response, it, it, probably. It, it actually kind of worked out OK, because a plum in those circumstances is everything. Yes. No? Well, I always think when something like, oh, yeah. You've, you've got just, to look as much like you meant to go swimming like in a pool. Like you meant to do it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would do. I would say I went down there, and I'm the guy with guts who jumped into the pool in a suit. Great and then later guy. on, they would figure out that I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the way to go. I would just insist that nothing happened. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> wet? Who's wet? <laughs> this is how I came yeah. to the party. Maybe you people yeah. are on acid. It, um, it's a little warm. I may be a little dewy, but I'm not wet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to see even more great Conan clips.
You may now return to your pirated movies and creepy Japanese pornography.